one season for at Loretta Lens for the second day of a doubleheader. There's 19 riders on the line here, 30B, 40B, four-stroke B. I got Josh Perry to my left, JP Cruz to the left of him. I'm getting this thing popping off, less than 10 seconds to go. Tyler Setzer in the 30B class got the jump there on the inside and taking it gingerly through the first turn here. JP Cruz tries to slam into me. Much better start than day number one where I stalled it. Jumping straight into the big hill climb here, let's go! straight into the side of Tyler Setzer there. He took that outside line, which isn't very good, and we're getting off into the woods, having some fun. Got the white gear on today. Gloves are looking fresh. The track was mostly the same as day one. A couple uh, extra sections here that we'll see in, coming up in the video. Ran into a rider here from one of the rows in front of us pretty damn early. He must have had trouble on the hill or something. He's in a tough spot getting run over by us here. He's feeling good, a little worn out from, you know, racing two days in a row, but Spent some time floating down the river there at the ranch, and uh, it's like a nice little vacation and getting recouped. Having some nice relaxation time definitely helps in between the races. Stay nice and relaxed. It was just a really good weekend overall with friends and everybody out there having a nice time, chilling out, playing on dirt bikes in the woods, you know? So I lost touch with the lead here for a second and uh, just tried to calm my breathing, relax a little bit, and regroup, refocus, and uh, I knew I could catch back up, so I was just kind of trying to slow my breathing. My breathing, this is a new part of the track. This was not here on the Saturday. Just kind of bombed down this hill and you got to make this off camber right hand turn, kind of sneaks up on you. Big traffic jam here on the hill. I was able to pick a little high line here. Got my nine riders going up this hill, including Tyler Setzer, who was leading. So I am now out front of the row and out front for my class. But not too far up down the road, I made this little mistake. dirt pretty hard. Matt Wright gets by me, plus another guy from another row, and JP Cruz is coming by with Josh Perry and Nathan Vaughn and Justin Daughtry. Everybody's getting by me here. Justin's yelling at me. I'm stuck on a log, but able to get going. Lost a good amount of time there, but I was able to catch back up pretty quickly here. Feeling really good on the weekend. Finished second on day one. Felt like I could win on day two, so I'm going for it. Woo! I'm yelling at Justin there. Nathan Vaughn hears me and just checks up out of the way. I'm like, okay, free pass. by Josh Perry there and now I'm up here behind JP Cruz where I ended up cruising behind JP Cruz for a few minutes. JP 
Happy's putting in a solid ride, nice and smooth. I'm looking for any little opportunity I can find to sneak by him here. bobble there. I'm yelling at him, hoping he'll like, <laughs> just give me a free pass, but it didn't go that way. But I swing it wide here, and JP kind of checks up for me. catch to get that first place and uh, I made an effort to put on a charge and get back up there. out of nowhere fortunately didn't go down then I come up on this guy are you okay looked like he was in bad shape there but he did give me what I thought was a thumbs up and he was there again on the other lap so hoping he was all right coming down through the little creek bed here these rocks were pretty tricky it's nice and slick didn't really see a lot of riders down in this, though, ironically. I look back here, and uh, Justin Daughtry's right behind me. I can hear that four-stroke. Right here, I'm just thinking it's, you know, me and Justin, we need to get up front. We got Matt right out front to catch, and that's it. Again, a huge shout out to Robbie Walker who let me borrow his air filter uh, cage thing, the little thing that goes, plastic thing that goes inside the air filter. Because without him letting me use that thing, I wouldn't be racing at all on this weekend. I would have been, just been a spectator. So thank you again, brother. section was pretty fun a little sketchy but nice little high speed run some guy over on the side trail there kind of confused me for a second wasn't sure what he was doing on the day two had no people stuck on the hill whereas on day one you know i passed like i don't know 14 people on one lap on that hill so that was couple, that was a little weird that there was there was not much action going on there on day two not sure who that rider was but you can hear justin still right behind me and he lingered there for quite a while Thank you. 
second, Justin's right behind me for 59 seconds behind Matt Wright out front, and I was a little disappointed by that. We got Rodrigo Silva there cheering me on. This hill was definitely getting tougher the further we got into this thing, man. We're on day two. Body's a little sore and tired, and uh, you gotta send it up this hill. It's no joke. Got Stephen Bynum here from the 50A class. Seemed like he didn't really want to let me by. by that, but getting myself calm back down here. Coming down this little bomber hill again. Not sure who that was that I just got by, but it came in a little hot this time. Probably should have just turned it straight in there and went for it, but blew it out a little bit, had to turn back. I was totally botching that little section through there before this little hill. I kind of did that every lap. It was, I just felt like a total mess through there. I'm not really sure what was going on. Woo! I feel bad for that kid. That dude totally heard me yell and just ditched his bike. I was, I felt a bit sad, <laughs> a bit bad for him. And actually later in the race, you'll see he crashes right in front of me when I'm trying to pass him again. Coming up on this rocky hill climb again, and uh, yeah, it's pretty clean sailing. These guys got some good trust that none of us are going to crash into them. End of the lap two, I'm in second place still, and now a minute and 34 seconds behind Matt Wright. I was a bit bummed when I saw that, but uh, had to keep pushing. Getting a little messy here on the hill climb. Russell from 45A give me a hard time to pass. I remember, I think he gave me a pretty hard time in the first race as well. Ended up stalling it there coming into the downhill this time. He had to use my left finger uh, trigger start. Dude's keeping it fresh with a tank top on the dual sport. Throwing the back end out a little bit. Sketchy little section where the ground's falling out. Here's this kid on the 250, or YZ again. I don't know if it's 250, but, uh, oh, man. He actually hit the tree a little bit. I'm sure he was fine, but that dude was having a tough day. Michael Sullivan in front of me here in the 251C class. He was honking at me and everything. Andrew's telling me that they're right behind me. I got Justin right behind me still. He's been back there for a couple laps, howling me. 
we're still about a minute and a half behind Matt Wright here, so the gap wasn't growing anymore. That was probably the best I ever took that section right there. Almost lost it right there. Got Justin putting pressure on me. From here, I ended up letting Justin by. We battled for a little bit. I ended up getting back out in front of him. Ended up finishing second on the day. Matt Wright got first, so two second places, which is a good finish for me. It was my best to date and uh, had a really fun weekend. It was good overall. And I'm working on getting these videos completely caught up, so let's do this. See ya!